Let's look at how to work more efficiently by customizing the Quick Access Toolbars in Microsoft Outlook. To quickly access frequent and favorite actions, your best approach is to add those choices to the Quick Access Toolbar. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar is at the top of your ribbon, and it doesn't have a lot of options at this point. We'll work with three different ways to customize the Outlook Quick Access Toolbar. The first option is to move to that Quick Access Toolbar and click this drop-down arrow. Here you'll see a list of popular commands. The check mark indicates those actions which are currently on the Quick Access Toolbar. So let's add a few others. I'll pick Reply, Reply All, and Forward. Let's try the same thing in a new email message. Here I'll add Quick Print. Our second technique is to add an Outlook tool or option directly from the ribbon. For this, I'm going to add one of my view options, and that is for the reading pane. Simply hover over this, right click, and left click, add to Quick Access Toolbar. Some helpful things to know as well about this Outlook ribbon. I'm currently displaying the classic ribbon in Outlook because it shows more options. However, you can switch between the classic and the simplified ribbon in an easy way. Simply right click on the ribbon and choose Use Simplified Ribbon or right click and pick Use Classic Ribbon. So experiment with those options to see what works best. For these examples, I'm working with the Outlook desktop application. Our options are more limited when we're working with Outlook Online or for the web. Another customization to consider is the location of your Quick Access Toolbar. For easier management and to be able to see your options more clearly, try moving it to below the ribbon. We do this with the drop-down arrow, and here is the option Show Below the Ribbon. So I find this a lot easier, especially as this doesn't have to share space with the other choices like the search box, and I can see these choices a little bit more clearly. It's also good to know that unlike other Microsoft Office applications, the Quick Access Toolbar can vary from one view to another. For example, the primary elements in Outlook like Mail or Calendar, well, that Quick Access Toolbar is different from the toolbar we see here for creating a new email message. So let's make a few changes here. Once again, I'll go to the drop-down arrow and choose Show Below the Ribbon. And I want to add a few other options to this. So under Insert, what I'd like to add here is under Quick Parts, and that is Auto Text. To learn more about Auto Text, check out our video in this channel. I'll right click and left click to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. And there may be other options to add, such as Delay Delivery, which is under the Options tab. Right click, left click, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. So these are options that are specific to what I might want to use when I'm creating a new email message or responding to one. And let's add some additional options for our calendar view. To be able to quickly switch between these views, I'll just right click on day, left click, add, and add these others as well. So now it doesn't matter what ribbon is displayed, I can quickly access these different views from my Quick Access Toolbar. And here's the third technique for customizing your Quick Access Toolbar. We'll move to that drop-down arrow next to the Quick Access Toolbar and choose More Commands. So for each of your toolbars, one of the ways that this is handy is that we can rearrange these options. You can simply select it and use the up or down arrows to reposition it. But this also gives us the ability to add other choices that might not be displayed in the ribbon. So we have groupings like popular commands, and here I'll move to all commands. So you'll see lots of things that might not make any sense for you to add to your quick access toolbar. But for this, I'll move down into my save options. And here I have save all attachments. That's just an example of what we might want to add to this toolbar when we're viewing email messages. So I'll add that and I could reposition or move this around as well. So explore which of these tools might be handy for you to add to that Quick Access Toolbar. 
It's also easy, regardless of what technique you use, to remove tools that you realize you might not need. And to do that, you can simply right click on that tool and then left click on Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. How will you customize your Outlook Quick Access Toolbars to save you time and effort? For more tips on being productive with Microsoft Outlook or to sign up for my tips newsletter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook. If this training was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Dawn Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.